The last 18 months have changed what many buyers are looking for in a home. Recently, the American Institute of Architects released their AIA Home Design Trend Survey results for the third quarter of 2021. The survey revealed the following things. 70% of respondents want more outdoor living space. 69% of respondents wanted a home office, 48% of which wanted multiple offices. 46% of respondents wanted a multifunctional room or flex space, while 42% of respondents wanted an au pair or in-law suite. 39% of respondents wanted an exercise room or yoga space. And if you're a homeowner who wants to add any of the above, you have two options. Renovate your current house or buy a home that already has the space that you desire. The decision you make could be determined by the following factors. A possible desire to relocate. The difference in the cost of renovation versus a purchase. Finding an existing home or designing a new home that has exactly what you want versus trying to restructure the layout of your current house. In either case, you'll need access to capital. The funds for your renovation or the down payment for your new home that would require. The great news is that the money you need probably already exists in the current home in the form of equity. Home equity is skyrocketing. The record setting increases in home prices over the last two years have dramatically improved homeowners equity. Now, CoreLogic created this graph and it shows that the average home equity gain in the first quarter of the last nine years. Odera Kushi, the deputy chief economist at First American, quantified the amount of equity homeowners gained recently. He said in this article that to remember the U.S. household owns nearly $35 trillion in owner-occupied real estate, just over $11 trillion in debt, and the remaining $24 trillion in equity. In uh, inflation-adjusted terms, homeowners in the quarter two had an average of $280,000 in equity. Now that's a historic high. As a homeowner, the money you need to purchase the perfect home or renovate your current house may be right at your fingertips. However, waiting to make your decision may increase the cost of tapping that equity. If you decide to renovate, you'll need to refinance or take out an equity loan to access that equity. If you decide to move instead of use your equity as a down payment, you'll still need to uh, have a mortgage for that remaining difference between the down payment and the cost of your next home. Mortgage rates are forecasted to increase over the next couple years. Now, waiting to leverage your equity will probably mean that you'll pay more to do so. According to the latest data from the Federal Housing Finance Agency, almost 57% of current mortgage holders have a mortgage rate of 4% or below. If you're one of those homeowners, you can keep your mortgage rate under 4% by doing it now. If you're one of the 43% of homeowners with a mortgage rate of over 4%, you may be able to do a cash out refinance or buy a more expensive home without significantly increasing your monthly payment. First step is to do this. You need to determine the amount of equity in your home. If you're ready to either redesign your current house or find an existing or newly uh, constructed home that has everything you want, the first thing you need to do is to determine how much equity you have in your current home. To do that, it's simple. You'll need two things. You'll need the current mortgage balance of your home and the current value of your home. Now you can probably find the mortgage balance on your monthly mortgage statement pretty easily. The harder part is to try and find the current market value for your house. Now you can pay several hundred dollars for an appraisal or you can contact me, or if you're not in my local area, a local real estate agent professional who will be able to present you with, at no charge, more than likely, I won't charge you anything, but they can provide you with a comparable market analysis. that will let you know what houses are selling for in your community. Now, the bottom line is this. The past 18 months have refocused your thoughts on what you want for your house. Now may be the time to either renovate or make a move to that perfect home. 
If you have any questions about trying to figure out the equity in your house, please let me know and I'll be more than happy to help you with that answer. You take care.